Kanye West looks happy as he's spotted in Calabasas after he and wife Kim Kardashian announced birth of third child via surrogate. Kanye West looked like one proud papa as he headed to his office in Calabasas on Tuesday. That's the same day that he announced along with wife Kim Kardashian that they had welcomed their third child, a daughter, via surrogate. The rapper is so excited to be a father again, the source told People adding he said that being a dad is what he does best. And the insider noted that a third child is a blessing after a tough 2016 that included Kim's robbery and his mental breakdown. Kanye says that his children have saved his life. This one in particular came along after a very dark time. He's so in love with his kids. The source also said, he does everything that a dad does, even diaper duty. Kanye knows how to change the diaper 100%. That's very important to him. West looked to be happy as he wore a brown track suit with fresh white EA sneakers and carried a laptop with cell phone making it look as if he was going to a meeting. Kim, 37, was not seen as she was likely with the newborn. The gold digger hit Mac has been working on new music so he may have been taking the meeting for the album. The Georgia native was alone and drove himself in a silver sedan car without a bodyguard. Their surrogate gave birth to a healthy baby girl at 12.47 a.m. on January 15, weighing 7 pounds 6 oz. They have not yet revealed the name of their daughter. The 37-year-old announced the news in a message on her website titled, She's Here. We're so in love. She wrote, Kenny and I are happy to announce the arrival of our healthy, beautiful baby girl. We are incredibly grateful to our surrogate who made our dreams come true with the greatest gift one could give and to our wonderful doctors and nurses for their special care. North and Saint are especially thrilled to welcome their baby sister. Love, Kim Kardashian West. Kim and Kanye were both in the delivery room with the surrogate, although the rapper was behind the curtain until after the baby was born, according to TMZ. Kim was the first person to hold the baby girl for skin-to-skin -skin bonding but the surrogate was allowed some contact with the child after the birth. Her sisters Courtney, Chloe and mother Chris were also at Cedar sinai Medical Center in L. A. where the family's doctor drive. Paul Crane oversaw the delivery. Their decision to go through the surrogate for their third child came after Kim suffered complications with her two pregnancies, experiencing early onset preeclampsia with North, too, and further troubles during labor with Saint, too. Kim previously admitted that she found the surrogacy experience to be very stressful. She shared, anyone that says or thinks it is just the easy way out is just completely wrong. I think it is so much harder to go through it this way, because you are not really in control. And, you know, obviously you pick someone that you completely trust and that you have a good bond and relationship with, but, knowing that I was able to carry my first babies and not my baby now, it's hard for me. So. It's definitely a harder experience than I anticipated just in the control area. She also admitted she had trouble explaining the process to her children. She chose not to invite the surrogate to her lavish baby shower in November to avoid confusing her little ones. Kim said at the time, I, um, I did not invite the surrogate. I did introduce her to my family. I introduced her to my family earlier that day. And, you know, I just thought, I don't know. It was like a weird decision to have to make. Of course, I would have wanted her to be there and be a part of it, but I hadn't really gone that far in explaining it to my kids yet. So I have to figure that out first before they really see and then if we're celebrating, you know, her, I just want to celebrate the baby. I think I have to explain it to my kids first and figure out how I'm going to explain it to them. Kim and Kenny started dating in 2012 shortly after the end of her 72-day marriage to Chris Humphries. They went in 2014 in a lavish ceremony in Italy. Their relationship hit a rough patch after they both endured the traumatic end to 2016, with Kim being robbed at gunpoint in Paris, France, in October, and the famous rapper being hospitalized after suffering a breakdown just one month later.